Thank you and good morning and welcome back. After three years, the Construction Industry Center's live material auction is back and I'm here with Julie to give you some details on the event. So first thing first, what's gonna be at this auction? What type of materials can people get here? We're going to have a wide variety of items. We've got windows and doors. We're gonna have some lumber. We'll have some vehicles, some large pieces of equipment and some small pieces of equipment. So if you're new to DIYing, you could come and check out some tools that are gonna be brought down as well. And we have several that I don't know yet. So we'll have some surprise items that I won't know until probably this afternoon. Okay, wow. So it sounds like you guys are gonna have a lot of things for people to kind of browse through and take home. Absolutely. You can come down early. Our gates will open at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Our auction won't start until 9, so you'll have an hour to look around and see what goodies we have to see what you want to bid on. Okay, and I kind of mentioned that DIY aspect because people are really getting into doing it yourself these days. Is this kind of a place that people can start at if they're kind of confused where to start? You, you know, this would be a good place to find some really inexpensive materials to try your new project. You know, there's great options down here for tile pieces. I've seen people do amazing mosaics with some of the tiles that they've picked up here at the auction fairly affordably. Um, sometimes it's just remodels too. If people want to do something different, you'll have great opportunity to find new lighting. Um, we even have some plumbing stuff, so new bathroom stuff, new kitchen stuff. So it's a great place to start whether you're just doing a fixer-upper or whether you're trying to do a new project or maybe a new craft item. You never oh, know. Wow. So you can come here and kind of just redo your whole house. Just take care of it in one go. <laughs> you, you could possibly do that. Absolutely. And after three years, I mean, you guys are back. So why bring the auction back? You know, we we had the two years off for COVID and then the third year we looked at it we had a couple of members ask hey are we going to do it again and we ended up looking for times and we couldn't get the building and the yard and because we tend to have lots of big stuff that has to be in the yard we have to have both so this was the first year that we could get them together it's a little late in the season we used to be in September but the weather's going to be good for us yay so yeah we're going to bring it back this year and hopefully everybody has a great time it's a great time for everybody to for our members to clean out their shops because you know the by the end of the season, after all of the construction projects, the leftover stuff needs to go somewhere. So a lot of them will bring them out here and see if they can get a little something and, and they get to visit with each other a little bit too, so. Okay, and before we wrap up, what are some things that people who are wanting to attend the auction need to know before they come out here? Um, they really just need to know that whatever you get, you still gotta take home this weekend. That's a big deal. You can you can pay by credit card or check, I believe, or cash. You know, Mesner's will take any of that. Gary Mesner is our auctioneer this year, but everything has to be cleared out by Sunday night because on Monday morning we do have Black Hills Habitat come and take whatever they would like. We donate everything to them at the end so nothing goes to waste. Okay, well that sounds perfect and it sounds like it's going to be a really exciting event and it's going to be happening here at the Central States Fairground this weekend. That's October 21st, this Saturday. So make sure you get here early. Doors open at 8 so you can browse around and you know see some stuff but the auction does start at 9 a.m so make sure you're here you're gonna have a good time thank you julie so much for allowing me to come out it's gonna be a great event but back to you guys in the studio